I was transcribing some Ry Cooter stuff and I noticed he has a really interesting right hand approach and so this lesson was kind of uh, uh, inspired by that. Okay, so this was a neat thing that I discovered. I was like transcribing some Ry Cooter stuff, which you'll see in a couple, a couple of weeks once I finish it. Um, and I was like, what is going on with his right hand there? Because in between, in between his little phrases and licks, there's this like kind of chugga chugga boogie thing going on. And I got in there and I watched a bunch of clips and I kind of slowed things down. And there's this really hip thing happening that, you know, I, I don't think I can credit him with inventing. Um, but he was where I, I saw it. Um, you see Mark Knopfler do it too. And you'll see some of the, the older blues guys do it also, although their version's a little bit different, like R.L. Burnside, I, I think he'll do it a little bit too. It's this really hip shuffle thing that once you get it going and get the, the pattern to it, it's really, uh, cool and liberating. So I'm going to rotate around so you can see my right hand here. The basic stroke is a thumb, these two fingers, pointer and middle, popping, and then they all come back down. That's the thing is uh, beat, beat three, I guess you could call it, is a, is a that, it's a slap. You know, not too hard, not too soft, and then another pop. So again, I'm going to hold an E power chord here, 0, 2, 2. That's where it all started for me. And I would start there, getting hip with that. You can do this in open tunings too. see me do things where I'll, I'll bring in a blues phrase. And come right back to it. So, you know, this is one of those things that, yeah, it's different than, than this. That's a little different. That's the thumb, you know, that's a hip pattern too, but this is neat. This kind of shuffle going with the thumb like this. It's, it's really cool to work on. Let me see if I can slow down the, the lick that I just played. Now notice, I'm not afraid to, to use the, the, my nails on this side. That's kind of, I'm, I'm a crummy claw hammer banjo player in addition to a lot of things. Um, that's kind of, from that, I'm not afraid to kind of keep those together. Because I feel like for this pattern, that kind of stiff hand is, is, is helpful. It's not, you know, Although you could probably get going with that too. 
I kind of, yeah, I got it, you know, I'm not super tight, but I do have it kind of a little claw going, a little, little cooter paw. Yeah, did you catch that? This guy snuck out and went like that. Super fun thing to work on. Again, it starts with just... And then maybe you add a... A hammer-on on that last one. Now, if, if I was being for real here, I'd probably be stomping my foot. But in, in this, in, in my living room here, if I stomp my foot, the camera will shake and you'll all get seasick. But yeah, if you can get your foot stomping, get a whole John Lee Hooker thing going on, you're, yeah, even cooler. Super cool thing. Um, I think that's really all I want to talk about this for now. There will be more and more going on with this. By the way, this works great in open tunings with slide also. But yeah, really, it all comes back to that. Starting from there. It's like once you start, you can't stop. Um, well, uh, I hope that's interesting for you. Thanks so much for watching.